BitBoy Crypto, whose real name is Ben Armstrong, is suing a Tozy, whose real name is Erling Mangshul Jr., for defamation, saying he sustained damages that exceed $75,000. Here's a Tozy explaining what happened. All right. Some of you guys may know that I'm currently being sued by the largest crypto channel known as BitBoy Crypto for $75,000 or more. dollars. A lot of you guys are probably very confused like I was, so I'll take you guys through the whole timeline. At some point in 2020, I stumbled across a video that BitBoy Crypto made about a token called PAMP token, where he advertised this token as something that could only go up in price. I left that video thinking, wow, this is really what the newcomers to crypto see considering he's one of the largest crypto channels. A couple weeks later, it came out that project PAMP apparently rug pulled, leaving the investors with nothing. The token went basically to zero. All right, so that's a Tozy side of the story. We're going to take a look at this tweet now from BitBoy Crypto. He says, you can't literally make up lies and accusations about people. There are consequences for this because you tell two truths and one lie. That doesn't excuse the lie. Hate me all you want, but at the end of the day, people will be held accountable for lies and slander period. And so just for our audience, defamation is the action of communicating false statements about someone damaging their good reputation. Will, what do you make of this? There's been a lot of back and forth on Twitter this morning. <laughs> wow. Tossing me the hard topic this morning. First thing, that's tough. Tough thing, Jen. Uh, no, I, I think it's interesting. This is the Atlanta crypto YouTube, right? A place that a lot of people don't venture into. Luckily, we have Wendy to navigate us through this story as well, uh, since you're a prolific YouTuber. But I think for most of us who live on crypto Twitter, crypto YouTube is actually sort of a scary place where there is like a lot of pump and dump token videos where there's a lot of curious and misleading information that goes around. And so this is sort of just part of the game, in my opinion, from all the videos I've seen. Not commenting on BitBoy, not commenting on... Con commenting on a tozy at all I'll sort of tread that line a little carefully because who wants to get sued but i do think it is worth mentioning that like crypto youtube is very different from the rest of crypto twitter and crypto twitter itself is also notoriously known for misleading people and for pump and dumps right that's what we've seen the last two years through the bull cycle is a lot of pump and dumps a lot of tokens going to zero a lot of misleading information and a lot of retail getting burnt jen back to you yeah, so my understanding of how this like defamation case will work is that if it's in fact true and can be proven that BitBoy Crypto, and I'm putting this in quotations, scams his fans because that's what was used in the title of the YouTube video, then it's not defamation. It will be interesting to see um, how far the litigators get into, you know, defining what a scam is and what someone believes to be true is. Uh, on Twitter this morning, a lot of people are coming to to support for either side. Kobe, you know, infamous or the famous Kobe on Twitter has pledged $100,000 to a crowdfunding campaign to help Atozi defend himself. Zach, what did you make of all of this back and forth this morning? It's just like, this is the junk food of crypto Twitter, right? This is like senseless drama that people are attracted to. And it is what it is. It continues the tradition of highly litigious people in the crypto space who have the resources to deploy lawyers against people that they're mad at. And that's what's happening here. Whatever pans out will pan out. And we're going to see it again, time and time again, as people's feelings get hurt during a bear market. This is when the lawyers get out. But we'll see. It's uh, I got to bring up shame. one other story. Go for it. Do you guys remember you when we had that pomp bit boy battle like three, four months yep. ago where they just Definitely started yelling that. at each other? Yep. Yeah. Everyone should go back. That's like a, a nugget from the last <laughs> bull market that everyone should like keep fondly in their heart and memories because it's just fantastic. Before we change gears, I will leave you with this. Up your information diet, people. Come on, let's eat some vegetables out here. Enough of this senseless junk food. You can do better out there on the World Wide Web.